Well, having left my battery charger at my parents for Christmas dindins and come back with this $2 uh, Christmas cracker light come um, LED, um, like UV LED sort of thing. I was going around last night just sort of, you know, seeing what it would do, shining it in the shed and things like that. Then I came to here, shone it into here, water crystal clear, shone it into this one and it was glowing green, but it sort of looked like it was particulate sort of thing. Then it shone into this one, crystal clear again. And I thought, well, what's the difference between those and those? The only difference is I've had one of these bowls accidentally sink and some of the peat has gone into the water sort of thing. There's no iron in these ones. Um, so yeah, I was thinking, well, what the heck is... Um, and then I was thinking, well, maybe it's the bowls. You know, maybe it's this borosilicate, you know, um, borosilicate. Maybe there's some boron getting into things. So what we can test is whether, first of all, whether boron will uh, glow in the dark sort of thing. You know, a bit of borax sort of thing. And um, go from there. But I also noticed I've got a bowl of... Uh, you know, has a capensis in it. I've had for, you know, nearly a, oh, probably a more than, probably a decade growing in there. And the water in that also glowed. And I thought, oh, okay. So I've decided to uh, set up some more experiments. Because, uh, so thinking that maybe they're putting fluorescein into the water is, is wrong. Maybe it's just the peat. So I bought myself a bag of peat. And I'm going to set one of these up. I'm going to set it so that it comes up about halfway. One, I want to see whether it actually generates any reductive flammable gas, just naturally. And then for the other half of the water, whether, it, as I said, whether it glows, whether it has this sort of greeny particulate glow to it. And then we can, if, if it does, we can extract some of the water and put it under a microscope and see if it's, a, if it's an organism or is it just... Uh, considering that it seems, it looks like it's particulate in nature, that it's more likely to be an organism. You know, if it, was, if it was just like grow, glowing completely, you know, throughout the room. Anyway, I'll cut the corner of this packet. And you now this is the same brand that I had before. So I'm using the same brand. And assuming the peat in the bag is the same. It's, um, when I, when I phoned around uh, about a decade ago to find out what they put in these things, they said that this, this brand, they use Canadian TM brand peat. It's just like, like the big bales and they just sort of repackage it sort of thing. But, uh, so what I'm going to do, put this in, and I'm going to do the same thing on 60 degree water with this one, because that's what I use for the other one. So I'll wet it down with 60 degree water, do exactly the same. You never know, it might be the, might be the water activates it. You get the right temperature, there's some bug in there that you activate or something, it starts growing. 60 degree, I'm um, sorry, 100 degrees, you kill the bug off. At, uh, if you just use cold water, maybe it takes weeks for it to... Um, you know, activate you don't know I'm just as I said I don't know what's going on with this I just want to find out maybe Pete just naturally is fluorescent I don't know and just no one's ever mentioned that in a book you know oh by the way a hundred years ago some Joe Blow um, discovered that Pete was naturally fluorescent but because we didn't think it was important in an idea we never repeated that information sort of thing we never sort of kept the information going from book to book to book to book but if you go back to this 1864 paper or something like that <laughs> lo and behold Joe Blow in such and such a you know, town uh, I mean it's, it's like the LK Corral I've only found out recently that that's um, in an obscure mining town called uh, Tombstone so they've got this movie now in the mo a modern movie called Tombstone but in the day you know, it was such an obscure mining town they didn't even know the name of it, basically. You know, it wasn't like, oh, you know, it was just known as the LK Corral or whatever it was. So, <laughs> so uh, yeah. Anyway, it's a nice brown colour and hopefully it will stay the brown colour. And I, uh, I think we're going to go, I think we're gonna have to go for a bigger neck or something in future pellets because... Yeah, I don't like that. Hang on. I think we're going to have to get the scissors out. The good scissors, yeah, that's better. That's more like it. Mm, go for the good scissors. There we go. Uh, it's just learning skills and techniques, isn't it? As someone said, to me, how do I germinate Nepenthes seeds on the internet? I said, well, yeah, Donnie's golden rule number one, which I sort of learned in hindsight thing, is, you know, things like, fiddly things like filiformers and things like that, 
always germinate, germinate seeds on sphagnum, not peat. Of course, that brings up the question is why? And I think, well, because the peat eventually will go go from a nice brown to black. And the reason it goes from a nice brown to black is because you've got no reductive flammable gas in there. So there'll be a good test set down the road somewhere down the track is to see if you can actually germinate some of those harder seeds on peat that has reductive flammable gas coming up from underneath. Anyway, I assume that's going to be about it. I'll wet that down with 60 degree of water. I don't know what sort of the, what, what level the watermark is going to come down to. I'm just going to get rid of this. That's probably, that will probably just go from the 60 degree water, which is melt that out, I reckon. But we'll go and have a look, have a find. Anyway, so tonight I'm going to make another clip and I'm going to use this. My um, normal light on one side and this uh, U, hang on, is it working? Yeah, UV one on the other one. $2 Christmas cracker and gee, am I having some fun out of it already. Okay, over and out for now.